Hey guys. So this morning, you will not even believe what happened. Um, I was watching Keith from Many Fish and he was doing a video on this World Series and the number 69 and the number 23 and 46 and 222. And you guys, I don't think he even has an understanding and I definitely don't have an understanding. But like he says, we know it means something. And as you guys know, a couple dreams ago, a couple videos ago, I shared of a dream that um, my uncle was in and how his name meant Hill. Well, then I was reading a comment about this Rich Hill, and I believe the number was 44, his number, but I could be wrong. I think there was something about the number 44. And then I shared how I looked at the TV and there was 23% with this Muncie. So Keith goes into detail about... Max Muncy and this dream, this episode of The Simpsons and how Homer Simpson had a dream and he hit um, like a home run, but the ball hit the firmament and broke the firmament. You guys, it was just absolutely crazy, just jaw dropping crazy how he just sees all these things, you guys. He is so anointed and just the Lord gives him these spiritual eyes that I don't think anybody else has or can see you guys. I just, like he said, he doesn't understand it. And I'm the same way you guys. I mean, I get dreams and it's like, why Lord, why would you give it to me when I don't have an understanding? You guys, I'm just a vessel for the Lord. And I think a lot of the things that he shows me, it's only because I share you guys. And many of you guys have way better understanding than I do. Like I said, I'm just a vessel. I share it. And and you guys just come through pretty much every video and just say, I think this means this and this means that. But it's like, Lord, why me? You know, I just don't understand why me. But you guys, I got to work all day today and all day tomorrow. So I'm hoping on Thursday. Well, no, my husband has a, a doctor's appointment in Billings. So I'll be gone Thursday. But on Friday, I'm going to do some really heavy research if we're still here and just try and put all these things together, you guys. Um it's just crazy. And then hopefully on Saturday, I can come back and do a more lengthy video and put it all together. But he was showing, you know, the Max Muncy, the number 13. Um, we know MM is on the Georgia Guidestones. And like, like I said, this Rich Hill, just so many things. And you guys know, I know I've gotten a lot, a lot of subscribers the last couple months. So you guys probably don't understand what I'm saying, but I've had the twins baseball dreams. I've had baseball dreams. I've had football dreams. I've, I've had so many things, but this number 23 has been really hitting me the last couple of weeks. And the number 69, it's basically been since like January, February. So like I said, Keith does this video on 23 and 69 and I'm, my jaws literally to the floor, just putting all this stuff together and trying to figure it out. And I just don't have time to do it today, you guys. I really, really wish I did. But the reason I'm doing this video, you guys, is the Lord prompted me to do something this morning. I'm going to share this video that I uploaded on September 8th. It's only two minutes long. And then I'm going to show you what the Lord prompted me to do. Hold on just a second. When, when I don't necessarily have a dream dream, I just, I, I just call it a vision while I'm sleeping. If I just see something that's, you know, five second, five, 10 seconds long, then to me, it's a vision. Um, but I was sleeping. And so in this vision, I opened up an envelope and it was a bill. And I'm not sure what kind of bill it, it was. I want to say a hospital bill, but I'm not a hospital sure. bill. And the balance was $69,000. And on the bottom of that sheet was stamped in really big letters. And it was in a, like a square and it said paid in full. And that was my vision. And so when I woke up, I was. Okay, guys. So again, I was taking my grandpa back to Minnesota. He came out to visit for a couple weeks and on my way back, I saw this home on the range, 69 years. And I'm just like, okay, Lord, I don't understand what is with this 69. And like I just shared the $69,000 vision I had hospital bill paid in full. So after watching many fishes video, I felt the Lord tell me, add up your bills. 
Okay, guys, this is absolutely mind blowing. Okay, look at this. This $3,018 was Mike's pre-op um, bill. The day before he had surgery, we had to go see the doctor and he did a bunch of stuff and just checked him out, whatnot. And then our hospital bill we received on the 22nd, um, just a week ago, $61,806.24. So I add up these numbers, this 69000 like, okay, you know, like I said, do, you guys, these are just markers, you know, it's just the Lord is pointing us to something and I believe it's right now. I'm telling you guys it's right now. Okay. So I'm adding these numbers. It doesn't come up to 69,000. Well, then he reminded me of the anesthesia bill that we had received, gosh, probably two weeks ago. Okay. Check this out. $5,010.74. Can you guys see it? $5,010.74. I go to my handy dandy calculator. Here it is. 61806 plus 3018 plus $5,010. We have not received the um, bill for the surgery yet. That's going to be a separate bill, but we have not received it yet. But look at the balance. Look at the total balance as of today. $69,835.70. You cannot make this stuff up. You guys, I just showed you the proof. I just shared the video. Like I said, I posted that video, I think, September 8th. Um, you guys, the Lord is speaking just loud and clear. He is speaking. And in on that vision that I saw, like I said, $69,000 bill paid in full. Well, how could it be paid in full? The only way that I'm going to pay it is getting out of here and leaving that balance, you know. Um, but I was just watching Diana Landers' video too last night and she's been receiving SOS, the, the Morris code. And I know Kim Mosley had also received SOS quite a while back. I'm not sure when she received it, but, um, Diana Landers has gotten it twice now. I think she got it a week or two ago and now she just got it the other night for a half an hour. And then it, I think she said it, or it just came to my mind. I can't remember about the half hour, um, you know, where heaven is silent kind of thing just came to my mind and maybe it came to my mind because Diana shared it. I'm not sure. You guys, I hang out with dementia people. I mean, my, my memory span is about two seconds and that's the honest to God's truth. So it's like, I, when I think about my dreams and stuff, I always have to go back and watch my videos. That's the only record I have. I don't keep a journal or anything. So it's like, oh, well now I got to go back and you know, this triggered this thing, but I don't remember what was in the dream specifically, specifically. So I have to go back and rewatch the video. And then it's like, whoa, like I said, you know, the Lord just, sometimes I got to wait months upon months to get an understanding. But you guys, I, the only thing I can come up with, with the 69 is, you know, we're leaving, you know, the 70th year, uh, 70th week of Daniel is, you know, seconds away, you guys, you know, a lot of things are pointing to tomorrow. And, um, many people pointed out the, the two, three could be November 2nd and 3rd because like I said, I'm not up to date on all the things. I don't know when Feast of Tabernacles ends. Um, just so many people coming forward and saying, no, it's this day and that day. So you guys, I don't know exactly when it is, but it doesn't matter. It's only a couple days apart, but you know, no matter what, the next four days are extremely high, extremely high watch time, you guys. So please right now, if you are not right with Christ, you need to get right with Christ. You know, the tribulation is seriously, seriously about to begin and you guys do not want to be here. You know, don't, don't play around with this. You guys, this is your soul. This is eternity. This is going to determine whether you stay and have to learn the hard way. You guys don't want to learn the hard way. You want to go with us. And it, like I said, it takes 30 seconds to give your life to Christ. You know, just don't say it. I mean, like seriously, search out the Lord, get your Bible, whatever you have to do, get on your hands and knees and cry, cry out to the Lord. And 
he will forgive you, you know, and he will wipe every single sin away. He will remember it no more. You know, that's the awesome thing is he, he buries that and he'll never remember it. You guys, today is a new day. Every day is a new day, but today is a new day, you guys. And tomorrow could be too late. It really could be too late. And the Lord is screaming, you guys, he's screaming that he's coming. And like I commented in Diana's video, it's like, I feel like this is, this is, and I've received so many comments, like I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this urgency in my spirit. I've never seen this on YouTube, you guys on comments. And when I watch other people's videos, I read the comments and I've never seen it ever in history on YouTube where people are feeling this urgency, this excitement, this just, just anticipation. And, um, I was just saying, you know, it's like being on a jet for a first time and hearing the engines roaring and you're buckled up and your hands are clenched because you just, you know that that jet is going to take off. You know, what does a jet go? A thousand miles an hour or something like that? Maybe faster. I don't know. But you know, when that jet takes off, it's like, boom, you know, just in seconds, you guys. And like the Lord says, in the twinkling of an eye. So it's like our captain is speaking this flight is about to take off. You better get on board. You better buckle up. And, you know, it's like I can hear him saying three, two, one, you know, take off, you guys. And our takeoff is, like I said, in the, in the blink of an eye, we're gone. So, again, I just encourage you guys just to give your life to Christ. Just give it to him with everything you have because we are leaving. We are leaving with or without you. And... You guys do not want to miss the wedding feast. You do not want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. I'm just pleading with all my heart, you guys, that I'm telling you with, with everybody's things, and it's not just dreams and visions, you guys. Just look at everything that's happening and everything coming together. And you guys, you know a lot more than I do because I'm not on YouTube a whole lot, but um, just by what I'm seeing, you guys, like I said, the Lord is screaming, get ready, get ready, get ready. I am coming, but you guys, I got people to get up. So like I said, I'm going to come back hopefully on Saturday and just do some homework on Friday and get it all together and then come back on Saturday if we're still here. So either I'm going to catch you guys on the next video or I'm going to see you at the wedding feast, you guys, either way, I'll be talking to you guys real soon, but Oh gosh, you guys get excited. Don't give up. I've heard so many comments that people are just on their last leg. They don't know if they can hold on. You guys just hold on to Jesus. That's, that's the main thing. Like I said, just pray and ask the Lord to give you strength and get your nose in the Bible. That is the biggest thing that you're going to do to stay holding on to the Lord is just read his word, hold on to his word and put some worship music on and just praise him with everything you have, you guys. The Lord will get you through it, but you got to hang on to him. Don't be hanging on to, you know, YouTubers and stuff. It's great for brothers and sisters to give you guys courage, but to hold on, you got to hold on to Jesus Christ. That's the bottom line. Okay, guys, I love you. Jesus loves you very much. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and God bless.